Hey, what's up you people? How are you guys doing? I have a special project to show you guys. This is the Voyager 300. Okay, so this is an inflatable boat. Now, right from the get-go, I am telling you, this is not the top of the line and this is not the best. There are boat inflatable boat that are cheaper and stronger than this one. What, you're not happy? Why am I showing something when I disapprove it myself? Hold on guys, I didn't say that. Hold on. Okay. In life, sometimes we have to make choices. This thing here, you could find, all right, the Voyager 300 is made for two people with a capacity of uh, 374 uh, pounds. It can carry up to 70, 374 pounds. I know other inflatables that can carry up to. 500 less expensive are you crazy why did you buy this one if you know some are cheaper and can carry more load you are right that's a good question this one here is made by uh, best way the voyager 300 their design is flawless. That's the problem. Now you're gonna have to choose. I go with something that's less expensive, tough, but not convenient. That's the problem. This dude right here carries two cup older for two holders for fishing rod okay so if i'm if i'm rowing i have a holder for my fishing rod on this side if i'm on the other side rowing there's another fishing rod holder so fishermen this is the boat that you want I know the weight limit is it's too shy, it's too little, I know. So most likely you're going to have to f go fishing alone, you know, but it's so convenient. The design is right there, guys. Whether you shift pole, south or north, you have a fishing pole right there. Why is it a guy like me would pick this one up? This is the perfect boat for trout fishermen. Yeah, this is the perfect boat. If you're into trout, brook trout, and, and this is the boat. Yeah. Experience. Uh, Fishermen, I'm talking trout, not just like going fishing, whatever, whatever. I'm talking trout fishing. There's a special technique and speed which required a boat like this one here. We are talking about a particular fish. You have to combine a series of skills and knowledge. If you're going to go on a lake, you must know, you must be able to have your fishing rod resting and you must go at a certain speed. Since the cup holder is right next to you, soon as the tip start going like this, you just can pick it up, you hold it, you give a swing, but you hold it. You don't like release the pressure. Once you give a swing, you get it on, you hold it to make sure that the fish is still there. So this is perfect. Perfect. Match made in heaven 
for a trout fisherman. Perfect, perfect. If you're fishing other fish, other type, species, no problem, okay? But trout fishing, you there's a mindset, there's specific math that you must do, and this applies 100 percent to it. Yeah. With or without an engine. This one does it so what do I do? That's life guys, you know, so I got this one here and we're gonna unpack it with my knife. Let's open it up. Okay. It's like a RPG, a role playing game, you know. Sometimes you go out of place and you see stuff, but you don't have access to those locations because you can be a great fisherman or you're doing your stuff, not just for fishing, you know, behind the scenes, there are things, there are pathways down the river that you won't be able to see until that you have a boat, yeah. You know, it, it, it opens up a new world. So it's just like a role-playing game to get access to some a new world, new location. You must have that special item, which is a raft, an inflatable, an, an inflatable uh, boat. It's light. You don't have to fight over anything. You know, this one is weight limit. I am a big dude. I'm 210 pounds. I am 20 pounds overweight, maybe 30 pounds overweight. You know, at 180, I would feel fantastic. Okay. So I'm 210. I'm not proud of it. Okay. So uh, this one is like weight limit. You know, soon as you get two people who are like 160, 150 already, you like closing in to a 374, okay? So now let's make sure that what do we have in the bag? Yeah. Everything is well packed and nice. Look. Maybe this one here doesn't carry like four or five hundred pounds the way I would like it, want to, but I also picked this one because other puddles are made out of plastic completely. Completely. This is a mixture of aluminum, light, very strong and plastic okay but the, there are other ones that are less expensive but the weight capacity is higher but everything is made out of pure plastic so that's why you know like the perfect world it's tough you know you you look at the game this is, this is quality. This cannot break. Uh, no strong wave, no nothing. It's aluminum. You are safe. So, when you do the math, uh, I go with one that's less expensive, with more weight capacity, but there's no cup holder, there's no nothing for fishing. I can still fish, I can still do everything, but it becomes a challenge. If I want to catch trout, you can mark an X that that's not going to happen. No way, no how. Okay. And look, guys. It's probably got clamped and you just clamp things down and bingo. Okay. So... That's why I went with this one, but I am there for you guys. That's why I'm telling you that you could get something that's stronger than this one, less expensive. But it's going to hurt you. 
because this one carries a lot of qualities to make your boating experience more enjoyable. So that's why you have to do the math. I would, would do more expensive. The paddling, it is important to me. You know, this is quality. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. So of course, you know, this boat here is made of three layers. So this is to keep you safe. Three layers, okay. <laughs> All right. So basically, that's that's my box, guys. And the box is empty with a patch. Okay, I have to reach out. Okay, so that's my. Uh, what is this? I think this is a a patch. You know, or yeah. This is exactly a patch to fix if there's a problem. You guys can see it, you know. And guys, that is very, very smart. Okay, you see this? This is to tell you if you, if the pressure, if you inflated enough or not enough, this will tell you measure how much PA is in your boat, okay? So if you don't have enough, this will tell you if you have just right, so that's how you're gonna measure it. This is very intelligent, this is very smart. So the weight capacity carrying weight capacity, it's only 300, 374 pounds. I know that, but what they're giving back in returns for your weight capacity is it's so much worth it you know yeah it's so much worth it and it's simple all right so now all right that's your owner's manual I'm just going to open it up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's explaining different part of your inflated boat, uh, what they do, which is which, uh, what to do, what not to do. Remember the measurement we were talking about down here, you see, that's what is going to tell you if it's enough, not enough, you know. Uh, you can really make this little boat uh, such a nice little home under water. There are so many things which you can do and I'll show you, you know. No, 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 I'm not going to like build a floor and if I do, it's gonna be something that's light. The whole point of getting something like this, it's not to build a plywood, press wood floor and then put some heavy chair on it. That's not the point. Otherwise I would have bought a real boat. It's a problem. You have to park it in the winter. In the summer, you gotta find a bay where to park your boat and you're gonna pay on both sides and, and people, who already have a membership they yeah they, they keep it so it's very hard to find a place where you can park your boat at, you know yeah. where I'm living there there is winter so where are you gonna park your boat that's a problem you know that that's a problem so you get you you know, you gotta keep looking, looking, and then you might have to travel far places. With this baby right here, look guys, one hand, all right? That's what I want, one hand. I will build a floor for this. 
to protect it so I can put my fishing rod, my stuff, my camera, stuff like that. But it's got to be something I can lift with one hand, not something with press wood and then, you know, I, I see guys doing that, then what's the point? You might as well, you know, this is to help you get to, you might just want to get to that island and then start fishing from there. That doesn't mean that you really want to like, like, uh, fish from the boat, you know, you could be like on just to help you make it across, you know, so, uh, if I'm going to make this, it's a floor that's not slippery. That's like very, the new technology allows you to have floor that's all extremely strong, but light. <laughs> yes, you can lift it up with one hand. It doesn't break. Stuff like that, I'll go for it. And then you put a nice carpet on top with glue and stuff like that. So it's not too slippery because water and, and, and stuff like that can become very slippery. So I'm going to put it down and uh, hold on. So as you guys can see, it's pretty big. <laughs> okay. But um, as you know, um, I went for quality, even if the weight capacity is not there. But you, you, you can tell, guys. You know, like this is um, cons uh, conscience uh, itself, conscience, consciously made. Okay, you you can tell that yeah this was made with with care okay you see the quality of this is you know you can you can tell the, the quality of the the material uh, the the craftsmanship the, it was made for you to really enjoy your, your your day look that's where your fishing rod would go there's one here there's one there, okay, and you see some numbers down there. So you have number one compartment. So there are three chambers. This is chamber number one. This is number two and number three. All this to keep you safe. If one would fail, the other two won't. Unless, unless you're very, 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 unless you have a huge misfortune. It's got three chambers that will help you get back to shore. And of course, you know it. If you're planning on going boating, you must have a life jacket. You understand that part. So this and the life jacket goes together. I don't care if you know how to swim. If you have those two, people will... will like will stop asking you yeah do you have this are you soon as you have those two with you people don't question your integrity okay and you're making it safe so whether the three chambers would all failed all at the same time which i doubt but you have this backup and of course as a self-conscious person you always try everything before you go underwater did you try this going in the water before you get on a boat you have to you know i can tell i can say yes this one works because i have tried it where in the water <laughs> and believe me guys it doesn't take long before you 10 feet in the water already, you cannot touch ground anymore. And that's not far. You know, that's really not far. So once you in the middle of a river or a lake, you're going to love to know that 100% your life jacket works. So this and this. Yeah, I've seen people on YouTube. Yeah, I know you're going to tell me. Yeah, but I've seen pl plenty of people on YouTube. Who just going, you know, you could do it, 
all your life through and nothing happens and then you know so i'm just telling you how it should be and the rest that's up to you so we're gonna inflate it compartment number one number two number three okay uh, guys to make a long story short uh, the Voyager 300 doesn't come with a pump that's a turn off okay I have many pumps uh, at home so I am okay with that but it's just you guys if you're not prepared and but that's not an expensive uh, inflatable boat to begin with so you might want to order a pump before you even get the both or whatever whatever this is your call you can get an electric one or a manual one which would be uh, less expensive so that's that's the only uh, thing i see with it but still the boat is um, of good quality guys but that part you have to keep in mind that you must get a, a pump you know all right guys so I'm gonna start with number one and it's rather easy your nozzle should fit should fit and the uh, and the opener so you shouldn't have any problem so uh, well done so that's number one That's the nozzle for number one. If I close it, then I can go right here. Uh, there's a second hole. You guys can see it. There's a second hole. You have one here, and there's a second hole for the same compartment with a higher debit. So you have different debits. Okay. So I'm going to go for the higher debit. All right. Okay, so yeah, uh, so let's turn it on. We'll see how long it takes. I'm going to save you guys some headaches and pause the video a bit. All right, guys, you see this here? Uh, this, um, uh, this opening here, it's to deflate the, the boat. And this one here is to inflate the, the boat. So if you want to let air out, it's from here and it's easy that's why that's why the the opening is so big it is bigger than here okay if you if you look at the the opening here it's rather small but this one here you see <laughs> once you want to let air out so it's pretty pointless to use a deflator look how much air debit that can come out so i'm gonna close it 
Okay, look. Let me just close it. Okay, it's closed and then, uh, yeah, I make sure it's tight. And now, from here, that's the nozzle, medium size for this one here. I just push it and then look right away. You guys see it? Right away. Did you guys see that? You see that? How oh, fast this is? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Okay, I think I'm gonna stop it because I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it. Did you see that? It took, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> man, oh my God. Did you guys see that? It took less than a minute. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so. Oh. So, okay guys, let's continue. So, uh, where is the measuring thing? Uh, um, where is it? Okay. So, uh, let me put the knife away. The PSI. So, it's zero to... It should be uh, where is it? More light maybe zero, two, three, four, five. So if you reach is five, okay. One, two, three. Um, Yeah, this is on point, guys. Yeah, so it's, it goes from one to five. Okay, so I put this measuring tape above it. Oh, I think I can go a bit more. Let, let me see. Let me stop it to see if I need to inflate it instead. There's no rush, you know, you make sure that you... Okay, I need to inflate it because, yeah, I need to inflate it a bit. So, as you can see, the air that's in stays. So, to let it out, I have to come here and open this up. It's gonna release some air. Okay, wait. Hold on. Okay, so this is, guys, this is secure. Once you put air in, it's not just going to vanish by itself, even if this is open. It shouldn't be, but, you know, it's good to know. So, run. That's one. That's number one. Where is number two? Okay. It's good that you do this before you get to your location because uh, this will give you some practice and you will get the hang of it. So number two. Number two is a much bigger hole, so I'm going to use a different nozzle. 
if I got it right, it shouldn't, <laughs> it shouldn't inflate right away like the first one. So let's see if I got it right, okay? Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> Look at that, guys. You guys see that? is too soft all done so what I'm gonna do okay I plugged it okay so now I can add more air and nothing is gonna come out hold on okay so guys uh, impressive wow did you guys see that wow this thing really works guys wow that's not even one minute <laughs> that's less than a minute you know, sometimes you're wondering, uh, you know, they said two people can fit in this. It, 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 I don't know, man. This is really for one person, you know, like one fisherman. You, yeah, well, to me, I think one fisherman that's like that's why i bought it okay first of all i want to be able to go behind the scenes your know, small creeks and stuff like that uh which when you were driving on the main road you can't see and um, i have a bigger boat than this one here but uh, i need something small that can go through the the maze and maybe I could you know like uh, unlock some amazing fishing trout spot you know because you need a boat that's not too big if you have a big strong boat that doesn't mean you can have access to some location that are narrow or difficult this is light it's floating so Yes, sometimes it's stuff like, like this that can get you to very difficult location, you know? And it would be pointless to have a boat uh, that can all um, carry up to five people to places that are narrow. So this one here, to be completely honest with you, just the size of it, would have been good for me okay but i understand the concept of three chambers to keep you safe they cannot all fail all at the same time unless that you are mr or mrs misfortunes no way no how if this one fails this will get you to shore if this doesn't then the third layer will okay so uh this electric pump 
I was expecting, you know, like something that would take five minutes, but it's less than one minute. That's impressive. So let's continue. Uh, I need to make sure that uh, this is very important always. So basically, you start to always have this with you. This is to measure if there's enough PSI in it. If there's too much air, not enough. You know, I'm guessing maybe with time you can tell the difference or it should be. So, okay, so over here, same thing, it's one to five. So what I do, I am looking for one to five centimeter. So that's uh, zero, one to five. So let me see. Okay, there's like a bit too much in it because they're saying one to five. So in both case, I have. Uh, wait, hold on. This one here. Wait, hold on. This one here. One to five. No, that's a bit too much. It's got to be one to five. Yeah. I'm um, just a bit too much. So this one here. Let me go see. Let me see. It's, yeah, this one too. There's a bit too much air. Let me double check. Uh, no, this one is right. Is it? Let me see. We gotta make sure, man. Yeah, this one is right. So, third one. This one, no, definitely I have to take a, a bit of air out. So, let's go for the third, third one. Okay. So, I'm gonna... Plug it. Let's see how long. You see, guys, look, see for yourself. You see? It has been one minute. You see? Yeah. It has been one minute, guys. You see that? stop right there to make sure that did, did, did you guys see that so the whole thing with with the uh, electrical pump rechargeable it's you got one minute so I'm guessing this is good for many year this is good for many times guys you can inflate your your boat five six times seven times so it's just Three minutes, the whole thing. <laughs> That's amazing. So, okay. So to assemble the oars, you have different options. You can go single or double. You have this, those things here. And uh, you have the choice to put it to here and then uh, to assemble them, first of all. You slide one in, okay, like this, that's one, then this has the exact same length inside, so whichever way you put it. It's not going to go any deeper, okay? So from there, you can tighten this one, okay? So I push it down at the bottom like this, and then I just tighten it. 
so it doesn't move okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna show you guys different options and that's the top part same thing you slide this in and then you make sure it's touching uh oh, hold on the other way around okay so okay that's one you have the choice to go single like this okay and they are also proposing to you the the options to actually go like this so i'm just showing to you guys you don't have to do it but those who feel more comfortable do it uh, this way can can do it so it's just as an example you don't have to do it but okay and then you tighten it okay i'm not going to sit in the board because it's on cement and i don't want to like damage my board but look then you have the choice to go like this and of course this can be longer okay it's just to show you guys like different options that you have since this is so light going like this it's 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 easy okay but uh, i'm going to show you all the options this is simple it's going to carry you away no problem okay So that's one. Oops. Okay. So now, if you're not planning on doing any of the options which I, I showed you, you can go like this. Hold on. To make sure that you're not going to lose your stuff in the water this is how you do it you put one color okay and you insert it there uh, wait so that would be one so wait yeah um, hold on so if you want to play it safe, you don't want to lose anything in the water. Okay, so this is how you do it. You, you tighten it. So this way, this will not float away. You feel me? And then you put this one too. Okay. Then you tighten it. then there is no way that the water, this will not float away it's stuck okay you can still do your you can still do your stuff okay but uh, that's one way to keep it safe you know because if not you're gonna have an unpleasant surprise that this is resting at the bottom of the lake or the river so this way you can do your stuff and it's still safe you also have the option to if you only gonna use one okay like I showed you before it is easy and convenient also to just like it it, it looks so simple to me me I think I'm okay to just go like this <laughs> you know i would probably be i can maybe i'm going to be sitting here and just go my way easy this floats you are not you're riding a cloud okay so probably me that's what i'm going to be doing so uh yeah so to make a long story short you 
can also have your stuff resting here okay on the side like this and then you can use one one is resting I don't think it's going to fall okay look you are yeah you are ready to go and look and you can carry it with one hand okay so that's, that's that's really cool guys i don't have too much room here but it's just to to show you all the stuff that uh you you can do it's worth the money this is a hundred dollars and uh, if you wait for some promotion, you can catch the Voyager for less than a hundred dollars. But it's well worth it for the fun that you're gonna be getting, guys. So you have different options. You gotta keep it safe underwater. Uh, there's two of them. I'm just showing you one because <laughs> look, I'm like up against the wall, so there's no room for. But I could well store it on that side also. But you understand, this is this is durable. This is giving you a freedom to do uh, great stuff. So yeah, it's well worth it, guys. You got two of them. You know, to mount them, it really doesn't take long. The part that must be crystal clear in your head, it's this part here. You understand that's the part that for you not to lose this at the bottom of the river you have to put the collar in first okay this goes right in there so, uh, wait uh, on top like this yeah then yeah you safe yeah you safe man whether you watching that watching this cannot go away it's stuck if you tie it yeah no wave no nothing is gonna take this away look it's stuck and you can do your stuff you know so it's well worth it guys so uh, hopefully I'm going to show you uh, how I use it underwater and how great this little boat is to go in our places because that's my intention to go out like now creeks where uh, I couldn't go before because uh, and I have no clue how far the river goes because it's too narrow and I didn't have a choice. So, uh, to inflate this before I go, it's easy, you know, yeah. And they suggest that we do all of them at the same time to, look, you see, uh, guys, to in, in, uh, deflate this, it's less than then 10 seconds or whatever look, <laughs> look. to deflate this it's it's effortless okay yeah it's 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 a it's effortless look. so this is practical you know and then you can flip your stuff, you flip your boat. They're a bit cheap. They could have given me a bag to carry it. I find that cheap. But yes, I know it's hundreds of dollars. They, they could have, yeah. I would have appreciated having a, a bag to, to carry it. Okay, but you guys see or yeah, that's it. One hand. Okay, so that's fast and easy. Uh, this is you know uh, 
I hope it goes well on the water and it's durable so I'll show you another video of me on the water with this and uh, yeah we're gonna have some fun uh, tomorrow with this underwater and uh, if it's nice enough I hope time will give me time okay so thank you so much for watching guys uh, this is great technology because of because it is convenient you know you have something extremely useful at low price and it once you don't it this can go in your closet or you know it doesn't take room because a physical boat or hard shell boat is a pain because you need room to store it and there are sometimes 10 feet long and you know <laughs> look once you're done with this that's it you see once you're done you're done yeah it's like a it, it's like a converter, uh, a converter, a sheet, a bed sheet. Look, yeah, you know. But I am positive this is too. This is for just one person, unless you are tiny. You know, but this is really I would I would say this is for one person. Uh, the only thing missing would be like a carrying bag. Uh, oh well anyways thank you so much for watching guys um, uh, those of you who are way younger you will see more amazing technology and uh, future stuff that maybe one like this that can carry a maximum of 16 people and it will only cost uh, one two hundred dollars that's technology they'll find stuff that are more durable easier stronger and then that can carry more people and or easy to assemble yeah so yeah technology is blessing us you don't need to be a, a rich man you can be a regular guy and you have a boat that can do the exact same thing not for racing but you can go and enjoy sometimes on the water and and go on st uh, short adventures. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Get your friends to uh, follow the, the channels. And uh, I hope this video was useful to you. Okay, I'll show you better stuff um, or different stuff tomorrow. So you do something for me. Take care.